single and married filing jointly. If you, if you or your spouse, if you are married and filing a joint return can be claimed as a dependent on someone else's return, check the appropriate box in the standard deduction section. If you were a dual status alien, check the spouse itemizes on a separate return or were a dual status alien uh, box. So these are a couple check boxes up top if you can be claimed by a dependent, if uh, someone else can claim you. And then we've got this dual status alien, which is again, kind of more of an unusual situation. So if you were a dual status alien and you file a joint return with your spouse, who was a US citizen or resident alien at the end of 2022, and you and your spouse agree to be taxed on your combined worldwide income, don't check the box. So we've got the age blindness. So if you or your spouse, if you are married and filing a joint return, were uh, born before January 2nd, 1958, or were blind at the end of 2022, check the appropriate boxes on the line labeled age slash blindness. So the reason that's here with the standard deduction is because the standard deduction will be dependent upon the filing status, single, married, filing, joint, head of household, qualified, widow, widower, and then again, you could have a, an adjustment to those standard deductions amounts based on uh, an age or, or blindness, which could increase those amounts as well. So remember from filing status, these perspectives, I would usually think of uh, the people that are married or the people that are unmarried. If you're unmarried, you can either file single or, or head of household, depend whether and single would be the worst. So you try to file head of household if you can, but you would need a dependent uh, in order to do so. And the standard deductions will be lowest for single, a little bit higher for head of household. You would think the standard deduction would be doubled for married filing joint, which it is. And then married filing separate, you would think it would kind of bounce back to the single area. But remember, married filing separate is not exactly the same as a single. So just be careful with that. So don't check any boxes for your spouse if your filing status is head of household. So death of spouse in 2022. So what if a spouse dies in 2022, the current tax year? If your spouse was born before January 2nd, 1958, but died in 2022 before reaching age 65, don't check the box that says spouse was born before January 2nd, uh, 1958. So we've got these kind of unusual situations uh, where we have a death and then this cutoff situation. A person is considered to reach age 65 on the day before the person's 65th birthday. Example, your spouse was born on February 14th, 1957 and died on February 13th, 2022. Your spouse is considered age 65 at the time of death. Check the appropriate box for your spouse. However, if your spouse died on February 12th, 2022, your spouse isn't considered age 65. Don't check the box. So death of taxpayer in 2022. If you are preparing a return for someone who died in 2022, you can see publication 501 before completing the standard deduction information. Blindness plus if you weren't totally blind as of December 31st, 2022, you must get a statement certified by your eye doctor, uh, ophthalmologist or opt optometrist. So in other words, if you have the standard deduction and then you're trying to up the standard deduction because you're claiming that you're blind, then obviously if you're not fully blind, then there be could become a question, are you legally blind or are you blind in enough in terms of <laughs> whatever the rate is uh, for claiming the deduction, which means you've got to get uh, certification here from someone for that. So you can't, uh, you can't see better than 2200 in your better eye with glasses or contact lenses, or your field of vision is 20 degrees or less. So if your eye condition isn't likely to improve beyond the conditions listed above, you can get a statement certified by your eye doctor, ophthalmologist or optometrist to this effect instead. So if you must keep the statement uh, for your record, so obviously you're not gonna attach the statement typically to your tax return, but if the IRS came back within an audit and, and said, hey, we need documentation because you said you were blind here and whatnot, then uh, you'd have to be able to provide that like with any other kind of documentation in that event, the event of an audit. So you can download or view online tax forms and publications in a variety of formats, including 
text only braille ready files browser friendly html so then of course the iris is trying to get their documentation in a format to accommodate uh different individuals with different needs including blind uh individuals or people with visually impairments so if you receive a notice or letter but you would prefer to have a braille or large print you can use form 9000 alternative media preference to request notices in an alternative format so you can get your notices in another format in that case